We're live again, once again, back for another episode uh, of Beers with the Boys. And uh, I think it's number five now, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, you know the drill, talk some shit, shoot the breeze, talk metal, whatever you want to talk about. But most importantly, let's have a beer. Let's sort that out. How's everyone doing? Jakub, how you going? Lene, hello. Loose bum, what's happening? Hey, it's a boy. Cheers. Hola, hola, senorita. Donnie, how you going, bro? I'm going to say, I don't know how to say that. Please ask Charles? I don't know. Just, just go with that. <laughs> Insta brunch. Uh, what's what's happening? How's everyone's week been? Anything interesting happening? No, just work. Why don't we get Dave on here, eh? Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Uh, Jakub, how are you, man? Hello. What's going on, dude? I'm sitting here, actually listening to Pink Floyd at the moment. Listen to this. Put it up. You hear that? That's cool. Don't you need to be like an acid for that? Can't eat me, can you? <laughs> no. Anyway, that was cool. How are we doing? Well, I'm all right, man. I'm all right. How are you? You on the lashes? Yeah. Yeah. Man, if I, if I lived in a de decent town, I'd go and get some uh, wheat beer. Hell yeah. Is that it's all not going to end about? well. <laughs> <laughs> It's not going to end well, but hey, fuck, what? You know. You'll be right. You don't have to work tomorrow. This is true. I have to try and walk upright, but, you know. I'm right. We'll deal with it. So. Fried up some jalapenos earlier that stung my nose. They're not that hot. You <laughs> Use those things for tissues. Yeah. Back in my day. Yeah. <laughs> a hundred miles to work <laughs> and woke up at midnight three days before and yeah <laughs> all of that shit yes. what's going on dude <sighs> rock and or roll was fucking good get back in the studio and practice today um, mm. this week and a new song in the works yeah we, we probably need to work out a name for that thing it'll happen man <laughs> no, just so when we're talking about it and we go, what are we going to do on it? And I go, that song that goes, mm, we should have this <laughs> working title. Like, you know, Lick My Love Pump or something. Oh, oh that's been done before. I don't know. If you think. No, uh, I know. Should, I know. Hey? We should have a working title. If whatever you think the working title for this song should be, let us know down there. And then we'll, we'll call it that. The best one, we'll call it that. All right. When I say hair metal, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not a fucking hair metal song. Know, it's that fucking song that goes na 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 na. You know, what, what do you do with that? <laughs> so mm -hmm. we need a name. So punters on this thing, yes, give us a name. I don't care how stupid. Actually, the stupider the better. What do you reckon the the, the stupidest one? We we'll send them a CD or something, huh? The stupidest title that we actually take on board and go, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> we'll we'll send you something patch sticker t shirt I don't know something some shit done fucking cra crash helmet ugg boot I don't know what something you know we'll we'll throw you something just one ugg boot yeah <laughs> in the wrong size <laughs> oh. no we'll, we'll we'll come up with something mm -hmm. let me know how they go Lene I love jalapenos man I remember having 
uh, some stuffed ones once at a party. They were wicked. <clears throat> um, Hog's Breath used to do them as an entree. Mm -hmm. You get a, um, it was a mozzarella stuffed jalapeno. So Ooh. they got the jalapeno, stick a stick of mozzarella, crumb Ooh. it and deep fry the bastard. Ooh. Used to be an entree and then they got rid of them for some reason, but they were awesome. Bastards. So, Little, I mean, the hideous cholesterol monsters, but wow, you know. Cheese is good for you, bro. <laughs> yeah. In my books, anyway. Hey? Jalapeno pepper cob loaf. Oh. You have to go. <laughs> Follicle displacement. You having to go. Hello. Oh, sorry. Was that you or me? Yeah, uh, no, nah, it was me. I, I had a phone call and I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode. Didn't my even bad. know you had to. Anyway, so someone hey, suggested we call <laughs> follicle displacement. I'm not sure right. he's having a peck at you or me because we're both, you know, got enlarged foreheads. So to speak. Why did you bring me into this? What the fuck? Huh? Follicle displacement. There's no hair. No oh. hair. Oh, I don't know, man. Fuck, I know. I'm a musician. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, we. Fuck me. You'd be right. You ask people to uh, to um, suggest names, and someone suggested follicle displacement for the name of the song. Oh, right. I understand now. Right, uh, Get with the fucking program, you idiot. I thought you were fucking ever go at me, mate. No, it's... <laughs> anyway, uh, that's the only moving one on. we got. Hey? That's the only one we got. Yakub, if you've got a, a funny working title for a song, let us know. So it's M. Janai or M. Janai and Lanai. It's just said, fuck. Lanai. Yeah, I don't know if that's the uh, name for the song or she's just trodden on Lego or something. Oh, I'm not sure. The Lego scream. Fuck. <laughs> Happy <laughs> style, you, mate. Uh, not, not the name for the song. I'm not, not very pissed now. I've had a few, but um, not too oh, many. Man. You've seen me worse. I'm yeah. working towards. Mm. What's that cracking stuff taste like anyway? Um, it is. It's actually really nice. It's black spiced rum. Ooh. Ooh. It's, got, it's got a squid on the cover, so you know it's got to be good. Well, I love the bottle. <laughs> man. Look at it. It's got little handles and everything. No, it's, um, it'll do a fucking job on you. Uh, what do we got? Um, forty percent. It's um, that's really uh, no, it's nice. It's an interesting taste. It's, it's worth um, it's worth an exploratory session. Okay, you know? okay. a whole bottle or half? I don't believe that's even a question. <laughs> um, <laughs> why? Why not? Because you're going to go with half a bottle, I'll stop now. No, you won't. Um, <laughs> no, try it. No, it fucks you over. It's a good drop. I believe it. So <coughs> we've got follicle displacement. Hooters booters. Not bad, not bad. Hooters what? Hooters booters. Naka laka. <laughs> hey? Naka laka. That's it. I love it. I Naka love laka. <laughs> I love it. Like after a hard day's work in a tight pair of jeans, you come home and you got that, you know. It's an actual like substance, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Slave to the grime. Mm. <laughs> a bit skid row. No. I was just thinking like imagine 
like you, you go to Europe or something for a month and you're showering like every third day. It's like slave to the grime. <laughs> oh, nut crust. Absolutely. Nut crust. That's I mean, another name. Is someone writing this down? Someone needs to write this shit down, man. Nut crust. Nut, yeah, Nakalaka, Nut crust, all these names, you know. They're good great names. names for punk. Great names for punk bands. <laughs> <coughs> Anyway. I ended up going to have a jam with I Hate People last night. When does it, is that a net thing that's going to play? Yeah, on Saturday. So tomorrow. Yeah. What time and how do we hook in? That's how a does, great question. For all I the punters listening, how do you hook into this thing? You, you've got to go to www.stickyfingers.com <laughs> or .com.au, one of the two. I'll have to... um. Put that on our... um site so people can actually go and check it out if they want okay yeah because they got no hope of remembering that and nor will they yeah well, that's true that's it make it easy but yeah i'm looking forward to it anyway but um i wouldn't mind doing this one in newcastle that i'd seen i don't know what do you reckon the gallipoli the club one or the thing the other the thing you sent the other day was that the gallipoli club i'm not sure because the Gallipoli Club had a thing where they got full stage and lights and PA. Yes. And you go in distanced and do your thing. Yeah. I think right. it was pretty. And it was like, yeah, fuck, we could do a live gig without, yeah, life. Um, but uh, it'd be cool. It's something to throw out there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, tell us in the comments if you want us to do that or something, but... And this might be another one doing the same thing, or it could be the same one, I don't know. But there's a few <laughs> venues starting to do that where you go in, they've got a mixer and a light guy, and you play your thing, distanced. So no sort of hugging up close to Judas Priest style. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 you, you, play, you play your shit. And I was thinking we might record it too. If we do that, record it. Yeah, well, that, yeah, you do record it. And something that could be mixed, audio recording, could be mixed and mastered later for, you know, for other other uses, like... Yeah, yeah. Like hitting B sides and stuff like that. Mm. Mm. I reckon we do it. we got we got Lene and Johnny Boy saying that we should do it. We should do it, man. Fuck it. What have we got to lose? Well, absolutely. I, yeah, I'm in. Um, yeah. Done. It's a thing. It's bad. Drink that. Cheers. <laughs> I love it. Is that another name, John? I know I haven't seen anything since. What? Jalapeno pepper cob loaf. What's wrong with that? Mm. <coughs> it's probably okay. wonderful. It's going to be Wog Central here tomorrow. I've got a family coming over from your sister's birthday. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Sushi when, Mango when, Live. Yeah, <laughs> man. Like, when, when our neighbours moved in, well, I don't know, like five, six years ago, a couple of weeks into it, they came over the fence and he, he asks, like, well, it sounds like you are you're fighting all the time. I said, no, that's just how we talk. <laughs> no, you'll, you'll come out after the party and your front lawn will be concreted and there'll be a fucking tire swan and, you know. That... <laughs> and a dory column. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A patio finished in the Greek style, like in yeah. the castle. <laughs> Man, that's, that's, my, that's my fucking house, man. The statue of Pericles in the front yard. No, not the statue, but the dory, the dory columns, man. Uh, well, you're <laughs> Croatian, right? I don't know why the dory, because that's Greek. It's a, you know. Yeah, yeah Greek and Italian, I guess. <clears throat> mm, all right. I don't know. Well, yeah, anyway. Uh, haha, that was me at my Lebanese mate's house for his birthday. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I don't see fucking comments anymore. Why not? No idea. 
So I can't keep up with the comments. So I'm not being ignorant. I'm just tap technologically the not gifted. Hey? Tap the screen. Yep. Last one I got is from Lai going, fuck. Scroll down, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm doing that. Cast nowhere. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, no, right. Nothing. Love it. I got jack shit. Nah, so you're going to have to fucking guide me as to what the questions are. Yeah, no worries. Haven't got any. People just watching us talk shit. <laughs> not, not that we have to try hard, you know. Easy That's enough to do. Yeah. Comes I was going to tell you a joke earlier about a blunt spear. Mm -hmm. Now there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <fuck> it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> oh, has anyone got a better joke than that? I'm sorry. <laughs> fuck it, <hell. laughs> Dave's the dad of the band. Hmm? I said Dave's the dad of the band. That was horrible. <laughs> you love it. I do. One down. Hey? See? One down. Oh, I was a little bit left. Loves it. Remember drinking at your place and it was that banana rocket fuel and your dad got the whip thing out. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were here, man. That was like the 21st, eh? Fuck. Bender, man. That scared me. <laughs> That's, uh, believe it or not, man, that's 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 him showing off, and it's just bizarre. There's there's like this Croatian whip thing that he uses, Dave. Mm. And he thinks he's cool, but like, no, like an actual, actual whip. Yeah, it's weird. It's it's got, it looks like it's got pom poms on it and different colours and shit, and it's uh, not like, like a sex toy. No, no, it's like a traditional leather whip, man. Hey, cheers. What animal are you supposed to whip with it traditionally? Oh, I don't know, man. It's probably for goats and shit, sheep and all that crap. Then again, he doesn't like lamb, so I doubt it. Yeah, true. true anyway, get on with your story. No, there is no story. It's just funny. Like, when everyone's pissed, he gets it out and pretends to like, whip cunts with it. Yeah. Yeah, stupid. Stupid. All right. But come inside, Dad. I think I had nightmares about the whip thing. <laughs> I would do, man. That's fucking weird shit. Like, like, what are you doing, you old fucking bag? <laughs> it's bizarre. Mm. Anyway, back to new song. Back to the music. Yes. Did I, we come up with a name? Well, we had... Follicle Displacement. Folly called Displacement or Nakalaka. It sounds or a bit Norwegian death metal to me. It sounds what? like they've got a whole bunch of words that don't know what they mean and whacked them together. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm kind of, I, I'm kind of liking um, what was it? the Nakalaka. That, uh, that, that one makes me smile. <laughs> Nakalaka I can live with. All right. Nakalaka, Johnny, you get a shirt or a CD or something, man. Like I'll message you afterwards. You're the winner. Some, some shit will arrive in an envelope and we don't know what it is yet. It, it won't be feces. It can't be feces. You can't send feces. No, apparently it's dangerous goods. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something will come your way. An empty bottle of uh, 50 lashes and a sticker or something. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. I can sort that out. <laughs> Tricky, gonna... you mad dog. What's going on, bro? Shitbag, how are you, mate? Loves it. I'm a bit disappointed I can't see new fucking comments. You must have touched something. Anyway, before I forget, man, I've, I've, I'm I've been... I'm sure I did touch something, but, you know. Be hey, what? Be before I forget, I I'm thinking I want to do this vinyl thing, eh? Yeah. I think it which would be... Vinyl, which, which particular vinyl thing? Because... There's the a million options. We can do anything. The double okay. album. The double album. It's fucking expensive. 
Should be uh, top of the range, mate. <laughs> Do we want to hang till the next album and uh, vinyl that? I guess. So we can do a sampler off this album mm -hmm. and then do the next one on vinyl. Maybe. What's the sampler? You do a three or four track vinyl and you go, here's a sample of our fucking album. And people go, oh, I really like that. I'll check them out more. It's like a... What? That's a cool thing. Hang on. Are you talking about like, the songs we've already released? Yes, and then full album, you do the next one. Mm, I'd rather do the whole thing, man. <laughs> the last album? Yeah. Well, we can. It's going to cost us over four grand for a hundred of them. Wow. Yeah. That's so they're going to have to sell for about 60 bucks each to make any money. Oh, wow. Well. Yep. Right, that's, yeah, the, that's the issue. Who turns up with 60 spare dollars to a gig? Yeah, well, that's true. If it was a single album, you halve that. You drop one song and halve it. We could do a seven-song album. And then you flog them for 40. You actually can make a coin on it. You can actually, you know, eat and wear clothes almost daily. <laughs> you can even start smoking again. <coughs> well, you could, though. Yeah. We could afford heroin addictions and hookers and all that rock star stuff. Yeah, PCP, why not? Hey! <laughs> How's vinyl versus CD global sales stats so far? Uh, like for us or just in general? You know, I, I um, yeah, I guess, what, what exactly do you mean, dude? What was the question? I can't say it. How's vinyl versus CD global sale global sales stats so far in general? Yeah, CD's, really CDs dropping off. Vinyl's picking up, but it's picking up from a very low point. So mm. people, metalheads particularly, dig vinyl. There's a lot of vinyl collectors in the metal world. Mm-hmm. Um, but overall, you know, streaming is is the, the massive thing because it costs fuck all and it's easy and you can do it Convenience. off the phone. Yeah. But for the people who want actually a product they can take home and, you know, look at and interact with, vinyl, I think, now is probably overtaken CD again because it's bigger, there's better artwork, there's more... It's just a fucking better medium than CD. Um, but it's also a more expensive medium than the CD. Mm. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's gone on to say, I mean, would it still be feasible to do vinyl instead of CD or vice versa? In my opinion, of that man is like, yeah, like just to touch on what Dave was saying, it's, I think it's more of a collector thing. Like not, not everybody would have a turntable to actually listen to the thing. You know, I yeah, think it's... Sure, yeah. Yep. I don't, I don't, how else do you say it? Like, it's like a sentimental thing or I don't know. It isn't, um, but, but it, like, CDs are fucking cheap. They, they cost fuck all to produce. Mm. But vinyl's a different thing because, you know, it's just a whole different concept. Yep. Um, <coughs> vinyl, yeah, yeah, not everyone has a record player, but it's weird. I went through the phase when you just had vinyl because that's what there was. Yeah. And then it just went away for 10 years, 15 years. And now it's cool again. Like, and everyone's yeah, stuff turned to us and go, oh, fuck, vinyl's good. Because yeah. the sound quality is better. It's actually mm. better than CD. Because mm. it's an analog sound as opposed to a digital sound. Mm. It is actual vibration, which is what he is here, mm. as opposed to a digital code. Mm. You know? Um, but you have to have the equipment to play it. Yeah, that's true. And that's the problem. Most people under 30 ain't going to have it. Most people under 40 ain't going to have the equipment unless they're fucking vinyl nuts. Mm. So it's a, it's a bit of a niche market, but it's, it's a growing niche market. Absolutely. Uh, I, I think it's definitely something worth considering anyway, but just to go back on yeah. what, what old mate was saying, um, you know, 
CDs or vinyl or vice versa or whatever, you know, like eventually CDs will be phased out. You know what I mean? And you, you they're, look on at their they're on their way out now. Car, cars these days don't have CD players. And it's like... Yeah, that's right. You know, CDs, like, are, CDs will go like cassette tapes did. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they're vinyl, coming out too, man. Vinyl's a different kettle of fish, though. Because when you get vinyl, it's fucking 12 inches by 12 inches and you've got artwork and books and li- and it's like an actual fucking object of, uh, like an object of art that you hold. That's what old mates just said now. He goes, my friend buys vinyl purely because of the artwork. So it's, it's like, it's a visual thing. So. <coughs> Hang on a sec. I'll show you some. Oh, there you go. Anyway, just because uh, Dave's got a, uh, a knack of cutting people off. <laughs> um, yeah, like obviously, like we all know that CDs are on the way out, and uh, streaming's definitely here to stay. So, you know, yeah. keeping vinyl in the loop and uh, using that as an option as well to get <coughs> get so your art is, into the world is a good is thing vinyl, to do. Why is vinyl better than a CD? I mean, have a fucking go at this. Look, this is a record, right? It's a yes record, and it's had the shit beat out of it. But like, you open it up, and the size of the artwork. Fucking look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the artwork in this thing. There's records all over the floor. And that's that's what people dig is that you've got this interaction, you know, and there's like a fucking book inside it. That's what people dig. Yeah. I mean compare that to a download. You can't. There's no value no. in it, man. There's no value in it. That's why everyone wants it for free. I just dropped my yes record. It's disappointing. Jakub. Hey. Uh, Jakub said, listen to vinyl. Was it so much better, kids? If you want to get into music, listen to vinyls. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> man. man. Absolutely. That's what it's all it, about. It's not, it, it's not just an old guy thing where you go, oh, vinyl's better. It's an actual fucking sound quality thing where the sound of a needle in a groove creating mm. vibrations which are picked up through speakers mm. is more live than a fucking digital code going back. <laughs> you know? It just yeah. fucking is. It is. I've got albums on vinyl and CD, the same album. Yeah, and the vinyl one just sounds warmer and more fucking real. It sounds like a band in your room, mm-hmm. rather than here's the thing a band did. Well, yeah, I suppose. You know, just is. It'll never, uh, you know, it'll never be the huge thing it was. But for See, those, dude. hey, oh, I was talking to old mate. Uh, for those who care about like sound quality and want to sit in their room and feel like the band's in the room with them, vinyl, yeah. That's the way to go. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. All right. Uh, I don't know uh, if you want pure envy in the room with you. It's probably unhygienic. I wouldn't. I've been in the room. It's fucking unpleasant, but, you know, there you go. <laughs> Talk about unhygienic. Uh, the first 10 minutes we get to a hotel room, it uh, definitely smells like ass. <laughs> ass, not ass. <laughs> you can turn any hotel room into a fucking... Just sphincter within <laughs> ten minutes, all of us. It's a rare talent. It is. It is. <laughs> We're a special type of group. Mm-hmm. Anyways, David, I think it's uh, time to get Adam on here. What do you reckon? Yeah, I'm. I'm run out of words. Oh, I'm, I'm time for some Aspergers. <laughs> you go, you. <laughs> Yay, Captain Autism. Yay! All right. Thanks, guys. Hey, dude. Oh, Jakub, definitely get to you, man. Let's get, hey, we'll get hey, what's up? the way and uh, we'll get out of the way and then we'll get you on, bro. What's going on? I'm here with my pure envy paraphernalia. <laughs> if you haven't got your, if you haven't got, uh, I'll tell you what, it's freezing cold. So I've got my pure envy beanie. I've got my pure envy hoodie. 
to keep me uh, nice and warm. Look at that. Oh, uh, how warm, go, mate. Go rob, a few, go rob a few banks with it. Don't Look say this. that. Look at this. <laughs> mate, you can't go anywhere. The banks aren't even open, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> Look at this. Got beautiful riding down the side here. Beautiful. Where do you get them from, Joe? Where do you get them from? Get them from the web store. That, the only thing that's holding me back is I need a pair of pair of tracky ducks that say that's what I need now to be fully pure and beat up. Fully. Oh, well, let's make it happen, man. Let's make it. Your heart, there you go, man. Look at that. Adam, I look very comfy. Don't worry about it. I'll help rob a bank. <laughs> yeah. With the, we'll go and rob the, uh, the, the fake Monopoly money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking very comfortable. I am very comfortable. I've had a nice shower. I'm very relaxed. I totally agree about the, 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 the vinyl thing. The, it's funny. I think vinyl is like books. That's, uh, you, can, yeah. you can pick it. You can pick one up. You can flick the pages. You can feel it. You can touch it. Uh, CDs, are, to me, are very... I don't want to hold this one up because it's a friend of mine's CD. But anyway, CD, I don't want to hold it up. <laughs> well, it's a... It's a it's a band I recorded, and I don't want to hold their CD up because that's not very nice. But CDs are kind of, they're, they're a bit like, you know, cheap, cheap. They're just like plastic, really, aren't they? You know, vinyls, the whole process of, of doing a vinyl, you know, from the from cutting it to the lathe is a special, uh, you know, a special um, skill, and it's an art form. It's not so, it's not like a throwing a disc into a machine and just, and, and just, you know, whatever it is. So, uh, you know, plus it's this big, you can hold it, all those sorts of things. You can flip through the pages. So, yeah, I think vinyl is like books and uh, they'll be traded for a long time. You know, the whole thought of sit, sit, sitting around a, uh, you know, once upon a time, 20 years ago, uh, when I was a young whippersnapper, 10, you know, 12 years old, we, you know, on the weekends, I used to get my dad's vinyl collection and put on the record and, you know, all these little things, you know, put the needle on, you know, it was, a, it was an event and it was good. The CDs now, you just CDs are really just a, a novelty, really, aren't they? Now, now that we think about it, and they're they're, they're pretty much gone out. To, there will be no no, no uh, CD shortly, mm. but the, there will all be there will always be somebody who wants a CD. So, uh, you know, think, they'll be around. I think um, that it depends on your demographic, though, man. Like, you know, like a certain age group will want a CD, and then. You know, like if you go into younger, like a younger demographic, they're, they're used to streaming and stuff like that. You know, they're not used to buying CD or buying music for that fact. So That's right. And that's why, that's why vinyl stuck around and that's why CDs, CDs will, will, will still be around. They just, obviously, I mean, I, I've, got, I've got a CD here. I, I don't want to show you, but it's it, that I was given. It's still in the plastic. Look, you can see it's still in the plastic. It's mm. got plastic wrapping. Mm. Um. I don't need to undo the wrapping. I don't need to put it into my CD player. I just go onto Spotify. That's um, right. And what, I just, you know, just do all that. I mean, Bluetooth from your phone to your car with Spotify these days. So that's the that's way. The way I mean, we're, we're, we're essentially in a tech bubble right now where everything's uh, technology is booming. So there is no way in the world we're going back to CD for a while. That's for sure. Mm. So that's that's that's. Uh, I mean, we're sending space rockets uh, in into space, left, right, and center. You know, seventeen times faster. Can you believe it? <laughs> so yeah, and that's why I like <laughs> analog um, analog desks. You know, because they they got a they got an analog sound that uh, you know digital just complements the digital. But if I could afford analog tape, I'd uh, you know analog tape tape machines, and I could afford. Um, to have them running and, and operated, I'd have them. They're, they're so much more, they're better than, than digital, but uh, they're just not convenient at the moment. So, but, um, Are there like a lot of work to do to operate them and stuff like that? Ah, you, yeah, they're a pain in the ass. So it's a bit like, I mean, it'd be like trying to get Dave to, you know, operate this machine here or something, you know. But, um, just would, it's, just, it's just not, not practical. Can't, uh, where, where does... Where does the jack plug go? <laughs> you can't get that to uh, uh, what do you, what do you call it? You can't get that to clock with uh, free loops. 
Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's the Eddie key? <laughs> where's the Eddie key? <laughs> oh, I think I'll order a tab. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play bass. <laughs> <laughs> What's a jack plug in? That's, that's about right. What's a jack plug? <laughs> the Jack Daniels promotion, isn't it? What's a jack plug, yeah. I'll tell you what, I've been getting some filthy stuff getting sent to me lately. It's not good. Mm. One called the... Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Send it to me later. You one, know. one called the cigar, the smoking cigar, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. I just had... Um, I just had that mango duck from down the main street at Shestock. And I don't think it comes from China. China. But, um, China. mate, beautiful. Very nice it was. Mango's a horrible. If you, guys, if you guys are freezing cold, you need to get yourself a, one of these jackets, man. It's ooh, they're nice and warm and toasty. And if you want to, if you want to go, go get some mango duck, go get yourself a beanie. Go and get one of these beanies and a beautiful, nice jacket. And you'll be able to go down to Cessnock and Mango Duck and get yourself some nice Mango Duck. I'll tell you what. It's a... How can you eat that vile fruit? Uh, you, do you eat McDonald's? Yeah. Right. So you're questioning me eating Mango Duck, but you make McDonald's. Have you tasted McDonald's? I said vile fruit. What's vile fruit? Mango. Oh, no, Mango Duck. It's the name of a Chinese restaurant down the main street of Sestlock there. Oh. Called Mango Duck. It's a, it's a, a, a Chinese restaurant. Right. Straight across the road from the, the, the other one. It's in the main street of Sestlock there. It's, a, um, it's, called the mango, it's called the Mango Duck. It's like to, aloe toy, toy. I just find it better than, than um, find it better than, than uh, aloe. I don't know. We just like it. It's nice. Was it Thai or Chinese? China. Well, it's like Chinese. I think. I think it's Chinese, but it's it's a good Chinese. It's it's really nice. Yeah. So like Kerry that. likes it. I, Kerry's happy. I'm happy. So. I don't like Chinese food. It's like Chinese. I don't think it's it's. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Google it. It's something. I don't know what it is. No. Nah, but... oh, mango duck. I don't really care. You eat McDonald's, so. I don't eat McDonald's, so anybody who eats McDonald's can't really can't really comment on what I eat. So it's a filthy lie. <laughs> about what? The, what about you the, don't about, eat about, McDonald's. Oh, I have it every now and then, but every time I eat it, I regret it. It's a big regret. Every time I eat it, I just think, why, why, why did you do that for? Advertising has just worked, man. Well, every every day I like to do something positive, something negative, and something um. You know, everything else in between. Wuhan mango, that is nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a mango. Yeah. So, what's the Zach been on or what? No, nah, I haven't heard from him. Oh, okay. Yeah, Come right. to Harry Holt. Oh, lovely. Well, yeah, nice oh, I was just wondering what he was doing. No, oh, been on or not. Huh? obviously too busy, mate. Are you bringing some uh, somebody else on now? Yeah, Yako Brand, you want to come on, bro? Yeah, bring him on. I'll talk to you right. later. Have a great evening, Pure Envy. Get the beanie, the jacket, stickers, pureenvy.com.au. Jay will send you an email, newsletter, saying how great we are. <laughs> I'll send you the link now for the store. There you go. Bang. Send the link Done. for the store. Done. That's one I Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. It's been a jam packed show full of me. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to be home tomorrow? Are you going to be home tomorrow? Yes. I'll I'm be home come tomorrow. Get cab. I'll be home tomorrow. All, right. All day. All right. All right. Later. Fuck off. Where's <laughs> Jakub, where are you, bro? Let's see. Come on. Flannel Crusader.
apparently he's got heaps of JD in the bank. Hey, hey how's it going, man? Yeah, good, man. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, you know. JD time. Yo, it's always Big ass fucking you. bottle. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Is that when you got for your birthday? Yeah. Oh, got that and then a case of um, Czech beer. Can't remember off the top. Pilsner. Can't remember. Because I drank it all in like a week. <laughs> Cheers, dude. Cheers. What's going on, anyways? Yeah, not much, you know. Isolation. Um, went to work a few times to clean a gym. Work with like acid cleaning um, floors, helping guys with um, building the gym back, getting yeah, shit yeah. done. But um, just music stuff, really, with um, my band Wicked Envy and stuff, getting shit done for that. And yeah. Awesome. Drinking as well. As you do. Uh, this guy's a keen drinker, man. He's like, he's definitely a part of our fucking crew, that's for sure. But go and oh, check out his band, Wicked Envy. Go and check him out. Yeah, Wicked Envy. Um, we're on Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube. All that. All of it. Brain's, brain's not working. I need another drink. Oh, get into it, mate. <laughs> what else has been happening, man? Other than that, you just going to uni and shit. You go to uni, don't you? No, we all do online classes. Um, I've just had to do a um, S, like a two thousand word essay, basically on um, what's it called, like um, politics and all that from like the twentieth century. So it was all like um, Stalin, Hitler, and all that. And I was just like, "Fuck, get it <laughs> over with." Because um, now they do like we do like um, the online classes, and they're just so boring. Like you sit there and you're like, "I just need it done." So. I told my lecturer my camera's broken and my microphone's broken unless I plug my headphones in and just grab a drink. <laughs> he doesn't know. Nobody knows. I'm just like, yep, drinking time. Fuck it, man. Hey, it doesn't matter where it, where you are, man, in the world. It's always five o'clock somewhere else. Oh, exactly. My um, all, One of my lecturers from my um, music course would always say, as soon as the, like, the lecture or the tour will finish at like 10 o'clock in the morning, he goes, right, it's beer o'clock. Let's all go. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm key. <laughs> down to the um, cafe bar and order myself a a nice uh, JD or a beer and stuff. And the people are like judging me. It's like it's like 10 o'clock and I went, and your point being. Uh, it's because you've got the, the, the Slavic blood, man. That's what it is. <laughs> Slavic, and Ir- Slavic and Irish. Got to remember the two countries that are top up in the drinking. <laughs> How are you What's guys doing? Drink? That's that's a really hard question to answer. This, <laughs> I like anything. Green I think. Paint. Oh, I mean, I would I would drink it if it was available. Hey. Green paint, uh, red paint, absinthe, <laughs> red, green, black, blue, whatever I can get my hands on. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> hey man, that shit's fucking expensive now. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is like gold. Like even toilet paper is like gold. <laughs> Is that shit eased up around your way now? Yeah, there's like um they don't do like the big packs anymore, like the twenty four packs anymore. They do more of the um at least like ten now. Maybe sometimes you'll get like twelve, but at the moment it's all eased back a little bit. Um the oldies are trying to now fight us. Um I was just at the uh pharmacy with my partner and she we just she asked um, Hey, are you being served and the woman just went, Yeah, uh, no, I'm fine, you go. I was like, Jesus. Rude. <laughs> I was like, yeah, please don't kill us. <laughs> Not from my toilet rolls, man. No. No. Uh, <laughs> fun days. Me, I, I've, been, I've been dying to ask you, man. So I've been watching your videos for a while now. Anyway, a bit of backstory. I've been talking to this guy for a couple of months now. Yep. Because we uh, share a common interest with... Uh, Trivia. Love. Trivia. <laughs> Loves the true dog. He doesn't. And, um... Yeah, I wanted to know, like, did you start playing bass or did you start playing guitar first? Or like, what, what's the game there? Actually, fun fact, I started playing trumpet first. Um, I played it, for, played it for a little bit. Got got really bored of it in the shits of my um, teacher because he was like, um, uh, he goes, place, um, pick up uh, when the saints come and I'd learn it. Mm. But he goes, that's old, that's last week's thing. When we're doing the new thing. I'm like, fucking when? So I got the shits with it. My neighbors got the shits with it. My folks got the shits with it because it was loud. 
But mm. um, across the street, we have these really creepy pedophiles, as we used to call them. So I used to just go out so at the front and just start playing it just to shit them. But because I, <laughs> but because I had um, no idea on music theory or anything, but I had an idea, I knew that I was off key or really shit. So it just yeah. pissed them off because they just come and go, shut the fuck up. Uh, fun days. But um, no, I started um, playing bass when I was 17. That's when I got my first bass. So since then, I've been focusing mostly on my bass. And then like when I was 18, I bought my first um, electric guitar. And then from there, I just played a bit of, bit of both, pick up instruments here and there. But yeah, mostly bass. Yep. No, I love it, man. I love it. And you, like, you, from what I can tell, too, like you're into the production side of it as well. Yeah, um, I did it for uni because I would have gone to James. I was supposed to go to, um, I wanted to go to JMC, but the mm. issue with that was they, you focus on just one unit mm. for like a year and a half. It's like a forty-eight thousand dollar, like course for one, like one year and a half. And I was like. But the thing is, you can go on hex with it, but the main issue is they get ten percent of that, so you're paying an extra on top of it, so they can claim it. Dad, my dad pointed that, and I was like, "Oh fuck that, I'm not going." So I went to um good old Western Sydney University, um and did the bachelor degree course, did production, music theory, um, music ecology, and performance four units. In, yep. Well, I've been doing it now for four years. I learned so much then in that four years and I've been like helping a lot of people recorded an EP for one of the girls. Um, she re- she released it luckily out on Spotify. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, and I, I had a fun time in that four years. Plus it was a snack pack store. So we'd always go there. Uh, what's a snack pack store? Oh, you know, like kebabs and all that. You go oh. to, like, it's like, um, like 12 o'clock. Lunchtime, you had Subway, you had like a coffee store, and me and my mates were like, fuck it, let's go get a kebab. Go get a HSP, yeah. go get a kebab. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> to, the, to the point that we were well known to all the people there. When we came, me and my mate came back uh, beginning of this year to do our master's degree, mm. we walked up to them, and the, the owner of it went, We've been waiting five months for you guys. <laughs> and we're like, Oh, fuck, what did we do? We're thinking, Oh, yeah. shoot. And he goes, What would you like to order? We'll give you a discount. I'm like, I'm fucking taking it. <laughs> Five months, and then this shit happens, and we're like, oh, we can't go to the court for uni anymore. That's all right. At least you know where you're going to go and have your first lunch when you go. I got you. Definitely. <laughs> oh, I but yeah, nah, it was fun. I love it. So, like, with the production stuff, I think, um, you know, it's definitely something I think the modern the modern muso should know. You know, and and I definitely don't know everything. And Adam, like Adam, like he's really good with all this stuff. But um, uh, yeah, like I don't know, like like those kinds of courses and stuff. You know, like JMC. I think Zach went to JMC as well for a couple of years, and like you're better off. You know, like I think you you're better off going to a studio, like a working studio. Yeah, and then learning all that shit that way you like you'd learn it 10 times faster than what you would there but i guess the only i get the transaction is you, you, you're giving your time instead of getting money in return if that makes yeah. sense no because yeah. like with, J, with jmc it's a private walsh like say west um western Sydney university for me it's a kind of like a public thing and oh. with that, you can branch off into, like some people, like when we started, we had like about, let's say, or oh, at least 150 people first year. By first year term two, we went, we dropped down to 70 people in that wow. spare because they started it and then they were able to branch off into the next, to whatever course they wanted to do. Mm. Um, but with JMC, it's kind of, you're stuck with it. You've got this degree and this huge debt. You can't like branch off to another thing. For me, I can go into... Um, I got. I'm going into my secondary, my masters of secondary teaching. Do some high school music teaching and go off from there. And with that, it's just a bit more um, simple to go from there to there instead of like wasting all this money on a debt and then having to restart and do everything again. But um, I mean, James, I've got a mate that. Oh, actually, no, I've got two mates that went to JMC. One did gaming graphics. The other one did music. Um, and he was in like a, 
a, I say a boy band with another bloke. And yeah, he's doing fine. He's doing lots of music now and singles and all that. But I, that was l- mid last year. Other than that, I haven't heard from him. I hope he yeah. hasn't died. Is he busy? You know, was he busy doing that kind of stuff? No, he's mostly just busy. Oh, he was and he wasn't. Like he would be busy doing it and he'd post about it. And then he just like disappear for like five months and then it reappear out of nowhere and be like, got a new single out. And we're like, we thought you were dead. You're not on Facebook, man. <laughs> exactly. It was like, like first he had like, used to have like really long hair and all that. And then five months later, he'd have like no hair and like a beard. He'd be like, Hey guys. And we're like, where were you? And he goes, Oh, I was just, you know, at home most of the time writing music. And we went, good, because we messaged you and we didn't hear from you. And he goes, okay. Like, how can you be chill about that? Uh, but no, he was a good mate. You know, definitely, you don't need people like that in your life. <laughs> no, but he was, he was a good mate. Um, I used to do Irish dancing with him. And him and I used to always go up against each other because um, New South Wales and then when they do like nationals, him and I would be like, hey, most of the guys here are gay. Put your back against the wall. Do not bend, whatever you do, especially when you're drunk. <laughs> one, of our, one of our other mates made that mistake of bending, and um, yeah, he was not impressed. And we're like, oh, Jesus, we warned you. <laughs> but um, no, nah, no, nah, he Hang was. Like, Hold the phone, Irish dancing. Are we talking like fucking like with the dancing stuff? Yeah. Oh, no way. I love that That's, shit, man. Yeah, I started, I think I would have been like really, like maybe four when I started. Mum um, mm. used to do it. Um, she teaches it. She's back to teaching it now. So she used to teach it when I was growing up, which is why I got into it. Um, and then I, I was doing it for since maybe last year, the year before that is when I officially stopped because... Um, like a few years ago, I started getting like um, hip problems and a lot of like tears because I didn't stretch enough and it was just really getting frustrating. So I thought, no, nah, I'm done with it. But I'm, I like the music side of it, out of it, like my aunt does a her own like river dance kind of show. So I've helped mm. a bit with the music, like um, uh, editing like the cover songs that they do. Did that for her for a bit. But yeah, no, nah, it's... um got me more involved with music and all that stuff. But um, yeah, it's one of the secrets that you now know about me. There's a lot more. If there's uh, any consolation, mate, I uh, I did Croatian dancing, like folkloric dancing for probably like 15 years. Oh, you poor bastard. It's, uh, I'll I'll send you a photo when they pop up in the memories of the the costumes. They're fucking horrible. (laughs) Yeah, I'll I'll do the same. I'll send you the photo of um, me and like this black, white and pink bright pink like tie and vest <laughs> i mean some people said i look cute and then i look back at them like you little bastard <laughs> take cute man it sounds nice <laughs> anyway um, my phone gonna, just looked at that saying uh, you're not using the app hey oh my f- hang on he got banned from <laughs> No, oh, uh, so quick story before we go. I was just going to wrap this up, but yeah, I got exiled from the group. I ended up, um, this is like in my twenties, back when I was drinking like really, really, really heavily, and I used to play double bass for the uh, the group that my sister danced for. And yeah. yeah, like I was blind one one performance night and. <laughs> I ended up dropping the bass on the stage and then going to dance with the uh, the group. <laughs> anyway, it didn't, go, it didn't go down too well. You know, they lost the bass, so. though. It was mean, fun. I mean, that might have bridged into your metal career. Just like, oh, fuck this, throw it down. Just start, like, your own little mosh pitch on stage. <laughs> I mean, I would do that. Why not? you got to get amongst it, man. Oh, pretty much. Nah. I mean, metal's just metal. Like, we all enjoy each other, each other's company, whether you're white, black, Asian, no matter, we don't care anything. If you're in the pit, 
you're one of us, we don't care. We're just here to party, have fun, listen to metal. We don't judge. I will exactly. Have party. On that note, my boy, we're going to end the live stream. And, um, no worries. Thanks for having me. That's all right, man. Thanks for joining us. And uh, what are you doing now? You're going to play some COD or what? <laughs> I might record a cover. I posted I was going to record a cover. Had a bit of issues with my laptop, but I'm going to record a cover. All right. Back to the music. Yeah. Right. Cheers, dude. Cheers, mate. See you, man. See you, guys. Thanks to everyone that tuned in. Love you, Bulls. I'll see you next week.